Hey everyone, Cody here, and I hope you're staying safe, you know, staying uh, busy, staying sane uh, with everything that's going on. You know, again, just gotta try to focus on the good of things that are going on that we can kind of control and, and turn our attention to. So anyway, today's painting is something I've never done before. Um, and it's basically this, like, it's a poured circle painting, I guess. I don't know how to, to to describe it, but basically you pour paintings in little like blobs, little circles. You just keep kind of pouring into those circles with different colors and then they kind of expand and they make like little bubbles, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but again, I've never done it. So this is going to be a first for both of us or maybe just me. Maybe you've done it. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so the colors I've got today, dark brown. Uh, it's called macchiato actually uh, and then we got a dark gray uh, kind of a darker red not too dark but you know not uh, bright red either and then uh, a light gray and that is the order that we're going to go in now I've already stirred my paints I'm not going to waste your time sitting there stirring paints for 10 minutes uh, we're actually just going to jump right into the painting so here we go now I don't know if you're supposed to prime the canvas with a with a color or you're just supposed to cover the whole thing with the uh, little blobs i i don't know I've, like i said i've never done it um but today's gonna be a first so i think probably uh it would probably be easier to do this from cups as opposed to just the cans which i didn't really think about um so let me see if i have some cups here looks like i do I probably should have been a little more uh, prepared for this, but you know, I just kind of am not. And these these cups have been used before, but I don't I really don't like wasting stuff if I can help it. So I actually reuse plastic cups if possible. Not always, but if possible. But see, look, these ones uh, sat too long and they dried together, so don't think I'm getting those apart. So, fortunately, I'll we'll have to grab a different one. But I've got another cup here. So look, I got to use reuse cups. Uh, so we're not, you know, wasting plastic and stuff like that. I'm trying to be conscious of, of, of all that. So we'll go ahead and pour our dark brown into our first cup here. Unfortunately, oh, look at that color. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna try to, try to get it for you. Look at that. Here, I'll pull it down real quick and see if we can we can get that you see the almost like the it it's true to the name like the macchiato you know it's got the the different layers there you can see the darkish brown and the lightish brown from it not being fully stirred let me see if i can put some shadow on it. there you go there we go it's nice it's a nice color i like it uh, that's probably one of my favorite parts of using gloss enamel is that it just looks so cool um all right so we've got some in the cup I really don't know how much I need that. I'll go ahead and pour uh, some of these paints in these cups here. Uh, we'll do probably a decent amount, not too much. Uh, and I guess thinking about it now, uh, not being prepared like that, uh, that probably offset that time that I didn't want to waste recording myself mixing the paints is now gone into uh, pouring the paints into cups. So yeah but once we kind of get a little lower on the paint i can probably uh, pour from the can itself just when they're not so full okay now that i've got paint all over my gloves that's why we wear them uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in so i'm gonna set these cups aside so the order was dark brown dark gray red light gray so here we go all right so it looks like the little little debris on here. Let's get that out of there. All right, cool. So I don't know how big these little pools are supposed to be or how spread out. And it kind of almost doesn't even look like a circle, really. It looks like, a, like an egg or something. But we're gonna go ahead and try to make a little circle here. And I don't know that my canvas is 100% uh, flat. I tried to level it out and use a level to see if it was flat, but 
to be honest with you, it didn't, uh, didn't really work that well. Okay, so I kind of want to get a little more brown right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the can now because I've got, I've, I've used quite a bit of it. And we're just going to make a little puddle right there. Probably too much. But again, it's got that swirl in it. So I don't think I have paint on this glove. So I'm going to show you one more time just because I just think it's so cool. This marbling uh, from the, the gloss enamel side so just fascinates me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I bother you guys with that. Okay, so we got it back. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Cool, cool. Okay, so we've got our dark brown. Now we're going to move into the dark gray. So we're just going to pour that right in the center of the paint. And we're going to hope that the weight of the paint we're adding pushes out the paint that is already there. And it doesn't look like it's moving a whole lot, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's because I didn't really thin out my paints. I just poured the gloss enamel right on. So, you know, maybe it's too thick. I am not 100% sure how this works here. I don't know if people generally use acrylic, maybe? I'm assuming they use like thinned out acrylics. Um, probably not watered down with water, but maybe like silicone or some kind of uh, pouring medium or something. I'm not 100% sure. Again, this is my first time. So we're going to pour a little bit more. And this one actually turned out like a perfect circle. So that was, that's pretty good. Okay, I've got a little paint there. We'll, we'll leave it for now. So now we'll move into our red. Um, and this red is actually called Roses Are Red. It's got a nice color to it. It really does kind of uh, look like rose red. So kudos. Kudos to the paint company. All right, so we're going to pour that bad boy right in the middle. And one of the things about gloss enamel that you won't find in other paints is that gloss enamel, because it's basically house paint, it auto levels. So it kind of spreads itself out because it, it, it levels itself out because it's house paint. And that's kind of what house paint does is it levels itself out um, because it's the chemicals that are in it. And it's to help it uh, give you like an even even coat, right, when you paint your walls and stuff. So I'm gonna pour some red in here. Uh -huh. And pour some more red in there. And pour some red in this one. They almost kind of look like records or something. I don't know. They look like uh, like plates. Like somebody made these plates in some kind of like a you know, pottery class or something. <laughs> that's that's what they look like to me. They look like plates that someone would make in a pottery class. So you can tell that they've moved out a little bit because obviously um, these two are touching and they weren't before. And we're not getting a whole lot of movement, so I don't know if I just need to do more of these to fill up. Maybe I'm just not using enough. Or if I need to start tilting a little bit. It's hard to say. Uh, what we'll probably do, here's, here's my idea. We're going to add the light gray to all of them. And then we're going to do one here, 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 and here. We're going to do a couple small ones. And if at that point they don't uh, run together to fill the whole canvas, and we'll start tilting it, okay? Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan, great. All right, so we will go ahead and fill our centers here. I'm getting a little bit of drops in some of the other areas, but that's okay. I think that's gonna be all right. Kind of gives it a little bit of character. And the big boy right here. And then this little guy right here. Oh, a little more than I wanted, but I think it's going to be okay. And right there. 
And I have to say, the separation of the colors is pretty cool. I do like uh, how clean the painting looks. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and make another little guy here. I'll just do a little circle motion here. Okay, we'll let that drip off. And then we'll make another little guy here. And we'll actually fill it towards this way. We'll try to get that drip there. I'll do another little guy here. No. All right. It's getting all over my gloves, but that's okay. And another little guy right over here. All right. So I've got a lot of paint dripping off the side, so let's see if we can make use of it. All right. Cool. Well, at least we didn't uh, waste a bunch of it. All right. So now we've got... <laughs> I've got paint all over my hand. Uh, I guess I'll wipe this off on this cardboard here. It's not ideal. Uh, paper towel. No, oh, that's my last paper towel. These are not going, going the way I planned. Oh, well, I think it's gonna be okay. All right, so we'll just kind of get some of that loose paint off. It's okay, I mean, it's why I wear the gloves, but I hate when it's dripping off my finger. All right, so let's go ahead and fill these little bad boys in. So we'll put our gray in there. Stop dripping. And this one. And the brown still has those little color ripples in them, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Put the gray in there and there we go no stop dripping all right cool so we've got a couple more going let's get our red in there i think it ran out of red oh i have a little bit so let's see if we can use this up Okay. And I don't think there's a whole lot left in there. Not a whole lot, no. And there. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to leave that one with just a little bit of red. I'll kind of break it up a little bit. All right, last is our light gray, which I did have some more in the cup here. So let's see if we can get that on there. And then get that one on there. And get that one in there. All right, and then this is the last one. So let's put some gray in that bad boy right there. Oh no, I forgot the red. No, that's gonna drive me crazy. All right, well, I guess we'll just have to make it backwards. That is gonna drive me crazy. We were doing so well. All right, you know what? We're just put gray back in the middle. And that will just be the oddball. <laughs> These things happen. All right, guys. So it looks like you have to use quite a bit of paint to make one of these paintings. And I would have to continue to make these little tiny blob things if I wanted to fill this painting. However, I, I hate wasting paint. I hate using so much paint on such a little piece. So we're going to go ahead and force it to move. So we're going to go ahead and tilt it here and we're going to bring it down to get it to touch this edge right here. And now that we've got it on that edge, 
we'll go ahead and pull it this way. And let's see if we can get kind of move this way here. go okay so now we'll move it down I guess I'll just hold it over this one okay now we've got it over that edge so let's go ahead and pull it down to this corner over here a lot of paint coming off I guess that's good I don't know Probably, probably just illuminating the idea that I was thinking that we were already using too much paint. All right. Okay. All right. Now if we could just fill in this little gap right here with paint. And done. Is that something in the paint? No, there's something in there. Okay. So, here's where we're at. It looks very cool. I like it a lot. Thing is, <laughs> I can't set it down <laughs> because it's going to sit in paint if I do. So, I need to get um, another... I need to get paint cans. Uh, to do this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stick that guy. And it's all over my glove. Man, it's it's covered. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab some old paint cans. Uh, I shouldn't have taken my glove off. But... Okay. So we're going to prop this bad boy up. Okay. There's two. Got some old ones here. Let's get that guy under there. And, and then this, this one over here. Okay. So that should hopefully kind of keep it in place. Now, there's something in the paint right here. And I don't know what it is, it looks like. I don't even know if I got it, to be honest. But, it kind of messed up the paint. Let's see if I can... Hmm. Let's see if I can uh, bury it with more. Okay, so ultimately, I really like this painting actually. Um, you know, I, I don't do a whole lot of poured paintings, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like it's kind of tilted. So let's, let's see if I can level this bad boy out. Just don't want it to pour off the side. It's still dripping here. Uh, all right, so ultimately, I like the painting. I'm actually really, really happy with it. It's very cool. Um, and now there's paint all over uh, underneath. Now I wanna show you something, okay? 
we're, we're actually going to try to use this paint before it dries. So before I do anything, I have paint all over my hands. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. All right, give me one. Okay, accidentally shut my, my phone off. I'm trying to grab it with one hand. Okay, so one, it's all over my hands. Please do not get this paint on your hands. It never comes off. Now two, look at these swirls. You see the swirls of the paint that it left? That can make a cool painting. So here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to use the paint that is dripping off this painting, because again, I hate wasting. I don't know that I could make a cool painting with those colors. I don't know, I don't, I can't guarantee it. However, we're gonna try. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull off a sheet of paper because listen guys, if it turns out bad, we we didn't lose anything. It wasn't the, the piece we were trying to make. But if it turns out kind of cool, oh my gosh, I smeared it and it's worse. If we if we make a painting and it, and it with the paint and it and it turns out cool, then hey, we got an extra painting out of it. And we didn't waste as much paint, and I'll feel much, much better about that. Okay, so here's a sheet of watercolor paper, not what I recommend. Um, just have a lot of it, like I've said before. So we're gonna scrape off some of this paint here, this paint, and into these little pockets here. So we're gonna scrape all that paint off. And again, man, this painting is really cool. <laughs> Way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. And actually, I don't know about that edge over there. Um, there's a corner over here that didn't really get paint on it, so I'm just gonna dab that on there. Not too worried about the sides because the sides are not the focus. So, oh no, whatever that is in the paint is coming through. I don't know what it is. Whatever, we're gonna leave it. It's just gonna get worse, I think. Oh, do I leave it? Do I leave it? Or do I try to fill it in? I'm gonna try to fill it in. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. All right, so now that we've got that, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this paper, and we're gonna press it into the paint. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna press it in there, kind of, kind of not crush it, but try to fill out the painting, right? And then I'm just gonna lift it off, and we're gonna see. Okay, so it's smeared too much. Um, I don't really like it. <laughs> we're, I'll, I'll go ahead and try some more, and see if we can fill out the rest of the painting. I'll really push this paper into it. Uh, stop moving it. Oh, no, it messed it up. So we're going to go ahead and call that one a loss. Uh, yeah, didn't work out. And I think it's just because I probably pushed too hard. So that's okay. That You know what? That's fine. I'm not worried about it. We were trying to use some extra paint without wasting it. Yes, you, you can't wait them all. So anyway, that is the finished piece. I guess now that I have paint both on my hands because I couldn't, uh, I took my gloves off. Man, I'm a mess. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, overall, let's see if I can hold. <laughs> I can't even hold the paint. I can't hold the, the phone. I've got paint on it, I don't think. All right, so here's the final piece. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a thumb, thumbnail. Uh, this is the final piece. And <laughs> I, I don't know if it was supposed to turn out this way because I don't know if I was supposed to do like the, the poured style, but I actually really like this piece. So whenever I do poured paintings, this is the kind of painting that I always imagine. A very uh, fragmented piece, but not like, tons and tons of lines all crazy you know mixed together just very abstract 
colors, but distinct. You know what I mean? And so doing this experiment was actually pretty cool because I feel like it, it was a success for me. Um, so I don't know what you guys think. I'd really like to know what you thought of, of this experiment. And if you want to see more experiments or if you just want me to go back to, you know, doing some of the other stuff that we normally do. But I, I do have an idea for uh, an abstract painting that I did before uh, when I first started. And uh, it was an, in acrylic. So I can do it with acrylic paint because I have some. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Um, or if you want to see more, you know, whatever, let me know. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, that's okay. Let me know. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. So take care. God bless. Stay safe. Stay sane. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.